Yo, what's good, boxing heads and fight fans around the world? <clears throat> B Marsh with another boxing video. Man, Louis Neary, man, Louis Neary has been a dishonest. He's been a dishonest boxer, man. And I don't care what nobody says. Don't come and tell me anything about the fucking what what what's in the in the cows in Mexico, man. No, no, no. We in twenty seventeen, man. We already know how it goes down. You know what I mean? Well, the WBC has announced that the Bantamweight champion, Luis Neri, who just last week beat Shinsuke Amanaka, the lineal and the... Actually, he's just a ring title champion, you know what I mean? You check it, because in this division, you know, I can't remember who the last lineal champion is. But it might be Shinsuke Amanaka, but last I remember, he was just a ring champion. But Luis Neri, who is now holds a ring champion in the WBC... You know, he's tested positive for PD, you know what I'm saying? And this was before the title the title fight with um what's what's his name? Shinsuke Amanaka, you know what I mean? The WBC statement explained that it has been notified by Vada that traces of Zil Patero Zil Patero were found in Neri system. The substance is is kinda like clenbuterol and it's used to increase um you know, the size of cattle, you know what I'm saying? You check it. Vada does testing as part of the WBC, you know, clean boxing program. And the president, Mauricio Suleiman, told Boxing Scene, that's where I got the article from. They told Boxing Scene um, on Wednesday that Mexico said that the that the sanctioning base, um, the WBC said that um, it will follow protocol from the clean boxing um, program protocol and decide near near um decide near his status. I mean to me there ain't nothing um let me read you what Mauricio, Mauricio Suleiman says, quote What we do is what we treat every case separately. There's a protocol that we follow. There's an opening of the B sample and also we have to analyze a specific substance, what it is, how it is, which amounts which amounts, how it happened. We do a thorough investigation and then go from there. You know what I mean? Now, we've seen Luis Neri, man. He beat Shinsuke Amanaka in four rounds. You know what I mean? But um, let me read for you more what the man, Sham, <coughs> Mauricio Suleiman says. You know what I mean? He says, quote, What I've gathered now is that this is a very similar substance to clenbuterol. It has something that cat, it's something that ca cattle is fed in the meat. There have been many cases, especially in Mexico, of athletes coming up with clenbuterol in their system. And this su specific substance is in the cattle in the U.S. in the United States. So maybe Neri, being close to the United States and Tijuana, I don't know. I don't want to reach any decision. We'll let it play out. Let's see what happens. We'll have a meeting with him and get to the bottom of it. End quote. Now, that's, this is, um, in my opinion... We shall see. We'll be patient. We'll wait for that um, that B sample to come out. You know what I mean? But in my opinion, Luis Neri, if he gets caught um, as having tested positive and they find out the B, B sample comes up positive, I think they need to strip this man for that vacant belt and give that shit back to Shinsuke Amanaka. Declare the fight a no contest. Nothing more to it. You know what I mean? And then this man could serve his suspension. However, however, however many months they give him. Maybe they'll give him the um, Povetkin treatment, you know what I mean? We give him like six months off, I don't know. Or was it two months? I didn't even know, you know what I mean? You check it. So, you know, the match in um, Luis Neri, that's what should happen. He should be stripped, you know? And if that's the case, if this is how he, it's, he's been fighting, you know what I mean? You know, if he if he's tested, you know, if he, you know, the man is an aggressive fighter, you know what I'm saying? And I could see how somebody who's under the influence of these bad substances could fight in the in the in um in the fashion that he fights. You know what I mean? So you know, I think Luis Neri, man, he needs to be investigated. Hopefully, hopefully, Mauricio Suleiman and the WBC get to the bottom of it. And you know, and if this man is found guilty, man, then you gotta strip him for that title. You know what I mean? And give it to Shinsuke Amanaka, straight up and down. He don't got to fight nobody for it, you know what I mean? Because Shinsuke Amanaka ain't asked to come in there and fight nobody who's under the influence, you know what I mean? Because if that's the case, he should have tested positive himself. So it could be an even playing field. B-Marsh Boxer, let me know what y'all think should happen to Luis Neri, you know what I mean? 
I'm not pleased with this news. I hate to see athletes, especially in boxing, a sport I love, taking steroids. You know, in light of what John Jones, the UFC guy, did, I'm, you know, I don't watch UFC for them exact reasons. I think all them guys on steroids, you know what I mean? But when it comes to boxing, you know, it really hurts me when I see these fellas taking steroids just to get an edge over an opponent, you know what I mean? And he probably could have beat him without, but maybe he couldn't. Who knows? Now, you see, this victory might be tainted, but we'll see. We'll wait for that B sample. Be March Barcelona, let me know what y'all think should happen to Luis Neri if, in fact, he gets caught and gets his B sample and, and they, they pop him for a positive um, um, a positive um, steroid um, test, you know what I mean? Be Marsh Boxing, leave your thoughts and comments. I'm out. Peace.